fellow friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, it's always interesting when a uh, African cichlid tank has a shift in the uh, in the hierarchy in who is the boss in the tank, and that's exactly what's occurred in this in this tank here, a 210 African cichlid tank, and uh, the new boss isn't too uh, too crazy. I mean, that's the risk you take when a when a new fish takes over, that if that fish is overly aggressive, they will usually create a lot of havoc and destruction with the other fish. This boss is not that bad, and uh, I'm surprised, but uh, not entirely surprised. Uh, let's get into it right now. If you're new to the channel and you like videos about tropical fish, African cichlids, South American cichlids, community tanks, bettas, uh, setting up tanks, things of that nature, this is a good channel for you. Hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, the bell and the, uh, thumbs up if you like the video and let YouTube know something good's going on. Thank you so much for that. So let me tell you a little bit of what's going on in this channel. Well, as you know, for quite some time now, the autopharynx tetrastigma that you can see right here, this beautiful fish has been the tank boss. And that's been, a, that's been a bit of a surprise because there are fish in this tank who traditionally would be considered much more aggressive than that tetrastigma. But he's been able to assert and hold that position for quite some time, despite other fish being in the tank, like these two nimbochromis the living stone eye and the, the nooses, which are known and uh, traditionally much more aggressive than an autopharynx tetrastigma. There are also other fish in here that are larger, like this uh, Buchchromus right there, and, and uh, certainly the Insignus. But for some reason, the uh, tangerine tiger, the fish that you see right here, which is a protomelus. That fish has asserted himself and taken control of the tank. And I know it because I've seen him chasing the autopharynx tetrastigma. So I know that he's in charge and not afraid of the autopharynx tetrastigma. He's a beautiful fish. And as far as uh, protomelus, and as far as tangerine tigers, he's just an exceptional example with yellow, orange, look at that uh, red, the pectoral fins, beautiful outline on the dorsal, just a beautiful fish. One of the cichlids I picked up, of course, from, uh, from the cichlid check. There wasn't much of a battle. You don't see a lot of scars. You don't see any lip damage where there was any lip locking. It wasn't much of a battle, and I have noticed that the Insignus, which is a bit heftier, a bit thicker than the Protomelus, does occasionally look like he's challenging him a little bit. But the battles seem to be very short-lived and don't seem to be creating much damage. Now, how long is this going to last? I don't know, because... I have other fish in here. This hawk, for one. Certainly, the uh, the sand diver will get much bigger. The sand divers aren't traditionally that that aggressive. This beautiful Buchchromis, Spectabilis, will also get very large, but not really that that much of an aggressive fish. So this tangerine tiger might stay in charge for a while until I suspect the Venusis and the living stone eye sort of wake up to their uh, sort of genetic, genetic programming. Or maybe, maybe the autopharynx tetrastigma will take his spot back. If you look at the uh, autopharynx, there isn't any real noticeable or serious damage on his body so I really think it was sort of a, a passive just sort of a passive passing of the uh, 
of the control over to the protomellus. So I'll keep an eye on them. There's never a, never a dull moment, of course, in an African cyclic tank. Keep an eye on this situation and just make sure that there is no, no real violence in the changing of the guard. I have had situations where, uh, where look at that gar. I have had situations where fish became very, very violent. I had a Venusus one time get into it with an eye biter, and that was a very serious battle for the top spot. Hopefully nothing like that's going to occur here. Wondering if this uh, if this trout will ever make a move. He's certainly going to have size on everybody at some point. Doesn't seem to be that interested in getting into it with anybody. For now, it's the Protomelis, the Tangerine Tiger. That's the update on the 210. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, do you think that's going to be a good boss? Do you think it's going to last? Or do you think uh, one of the other fish are going to step up and take over? It's always, uh, it's always an interesting, ongoing sort of dynamic struggle going on in these uh, African cichlid tanks. And uh, the best you can hope for is that aggression is kept to a minimum. So uh, there you have it. Share your comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.